Hi, in this video, we're going to install Arclinx B Qtile. Now, I started making these videos because at uh, this point in time, we are booting into the desktop itself. And that's all good when it's a desktop environment and it's also people will find their way around. But when it's a tiling window manager, that's gonna be a little bit more complex. And this is Qtile is a tiling window manager. So it helps you to read these guys because these are actually our keyboard shortcuts that we use in all our, at this point in time, 15 desktops. So they, um, they matter anyway. You need to learn them for every possible desktop out there. But specifically for this guy, you need to be able to quit things and restart things like that. So Super Shift D is one of the things, D menu to start again, uh, this welcome app, Arch Linux welcome app, that's the name, right? To again, start with a run G part that maybe, and have a look, maybe you can clean something out, some partitions you have, select them, trash them and apply them. And then with a, now how to get rid of this, this is actually okay because we have a menu, but we have also our normal shortcut, which is super Q, but the Q is working on your end maybe, well on my end I have an Azerti, so I do Super A at this point in time because it's still on, on QWERTY at this point in time. So I've just killed G part of the game and then we can run Calamaris. Now Calamaris is our graphical installer and we go through uh, some of these choices. Of course, first of all, choose the language you want to have your operating system in. I always stick to English, but you can choose your Japanese or, or Italian and German and so on. It's just a drop down and select it. We have added support for Japanese. That's why I say it here. Japanese is here and down here is Chinese as well. Taiwan and so on. And another one, I think Korean. So we have more support at this point in time for other languages. Then we go for next. We can install the kernels and uh, Nvidia driver if we want to, but uh, you don't need to install drivers for NVIDIA. And try it out first without any NVIDIA driver and see if it works. If everything works, don't install it. Less issues. And then next, Arch Linux Steam Viewer can be installed. Uh, Skype is here. Microsoft Teams is here. So work related, staying at home software, but keeping in touch with people. Development. There are videos about all these tools, or anyway, some of them, and um, you sh should check it out, and then you know what to select the next time around. So lots of things. People have asked different terminals. Everybody seems to have its own, their own preference for a terminal. Well, install it and um, use it. This is our thing. So when we develop things, uh, this is what we select. That's it. We just move back to the end. Don't want anything else but this. And that's what we're going to install on the machine always. Well, choose where you live, time zone, right? And drop down if it's not correct. It depends on the server. That's either gonna respond or not. Belgian, that's the proper keyboard. Do set it right here. Afterwards, it's gonna be difficult and certainly in tiling with a manager, it's gonna be go to the terminal and type this and type that. It's not, um, not easy. So set it straight here, set it correct here, and it's gonna be forever okay. We have three options, plus encrypt, six options that work out of the box, or you go for a manual partitioning, and they give you a hint. If you are planning of a, in having an, a GPT partition table, then this should be at least FAT32 uh, and 512 megabytes for the boot partition. It's a must. But we're gonna just keep it simple. Kiss, right? Keep it simple and stupid. Why complicate, make things complex and complicate things and then run into issues. So we choose names, passwords, logging automatically, use the same password and then next, and then we're off. So basically this went quite well. Um, there are keyboard shortcuts you should check out. So I'm gonna just switch to your desktop up here, right? So these guys, see that you know these guys and in, in, have it in your fingers. Um, Control, Shift, Escape, you see Task Manager there. Um, what else? 
So super shift X, then you stop Q tile, super shift Q, then you stop the application, super X, and then you exit. These are all things that are interesting. And the super shift D is your menu. That's the first line we see up here, main menu. This is Alt F3 to get to know things. We have included the XFC4 app manager. So if you know XFC4, but you don't know the name, well, here it is. This is your menu. A super A is gonna kill this one. In the meantime, I have set my keyboard as Belgian. So I definitely need to type now super Q. Now maybe you're thinking you broke your system. <laughs> no, it's still here, of course. Oh, workspace one. So let's wait till everything installs and then reboot. Installation is finished. And what we do, we say reboot. Then we go inside our own boot existing OS. And there we wait until Qtile comes up. All right. And then it's up to you, right? Then we go to watch some tutorials. I forgot to tell you in uh, the deeping video, but you always go and look at whatever we've ch shared already as knowledge. ArcLinksD.com is where all the other guys are. XFC of Boxi3, and here is Qtile, all right? Lots of Qtile articles, knowledge, 23 in this case. Have fun.